look at Series Therapeutics Roar. Here's a small development stage biotech company that initially rocketed into the stratosphere when it came public past June, falling from its IPO price of $18 all the way up to 51 bucks and change on its first day of trading. Since then, those series have been really volatile, stocks sinking down to the mid-30s as of yesterday. But this company actually has a lot going for it. Series is all about creating a new class of medicines that treat diseases caused by what's known as dysbiosis. That's when the bacterial ecosystem that lives in your digestive tract somehow becomes unbalanced, which can cause you to get extremely sick. In order to treat these conditions, Sirius develops combinations of microbes that will make your bacterial ecosystem healthy again. The company's lead drug is a pill that present that prevents recurrent CDI. That's a scourge. It's an inflammation of the large intestine that's become the, the leading cause of hospital-acquired infections in the United States. Right now, the only treatment for this condition is antibiotics. But they also kill the good bacteria in your gut, which leaves you open to getting infected all over again. Serious pill prevents that from happening by getting your gut bacteria back into a healthy equilibrium. This drug's in phase two trial for CDI, uh, and yesterday we learned that Ceres' approach to treating diseases could have many more potential indications. The company just announced that they're starting a phase one trial of another microbe-based drug for ulcerative colitis. This is a gigantic market. It's a type of chronic inflammatory bowel condition that afflicts 700,000 people in this country. That news caused the stock to shoot up three bucks or 8% today. I wouldn't be surprised if there's more room to run. That's how big this is. So let's take a closer look with Dr. Roger Pomerantz, the chairman and CEO of Ceres Therapeutics, learn more about this new clinical trial and where his company's headed. Dr. Palmer's, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. So good to be back. Thank yeah. you. Have a seat, sir. This uh, press release that you came out, the initiation of the Phase 1B uh, clinical trial for mild to moderate ulcerative colitis, this is, I know that this disease is not being treated as effectively as what you might be able to offer. So to explain how Ceres could do something very different. Yeah, it's really important, Jim. This is a huge problem in the United States and around the world. People get what's called an autoimmune disease where their immune system gets out of whack, in this case, in the large intestine. It can lead to diarrhea, fever, abdominal pain, even people who need their colon taken out or dying from it. The good news is that there are drugs. The bad news is, is that all of these drugs Im suppress your immune system. They're immunosuppressants. These are the type of people that I used to see when I saw patients as an infectious disease physician. They all came in with infections or opportunistic tumors from the immunosuppression. So what we had to think about at Ceres is how do you develop a drug that would treat ulcerative colitis, inflammatory bowel right. disease, but could do it without immunosuppression so you don't get these infections, would have to see me as an ID doctor, or tumors. And so we have a drug, Cere 287, right. that is in clinical trials that we announced yesterday in ulcerative colitis, which we expect to be totally non-immunosuppressant. Wow, that would be gigantic. Now, this, this is a form of... A lot of people use these terms, but truly disruptive to current medical paradigm, the way that we've treated people for years with this illness. That's exactly right. We use monoclonal antibodies where you have to stick a needle in your arm or drugs that, again, take orally but depress your immune right. system. This is an approach where you change the bacteria in your gut so that it is now healthy. Why does that make sense? Because we now know, it's really, really cool, right. that the bacteria actually control your immune system. That's so okay. the bacteria in your gut turns on or off your immune system in your gut. So if we can change that, and we have data in animals, and there are now data in humans from fecal transplants, that if you make the bugs right, the immune system turns down, and the autoimmune right. generation of, of, of ulcerative colitis can turn off. Now, what I thought was interesting, you have a proprietary library of 13,000 bacteria strains? How, where do you get them? How do you develop them? So that's some of the secret sauce. That's okay, the dark. that's why Ceres that, has got a moat around That's it. exactly. Not, no other company's going to come up and do. Like, no, I'm, Amgen no. tonight is not going to announce that no. they, they're doing what you're doing. No, we aspire to be the Genentech of the microbiome okay, that's space. That's really important because but, for those but, of all old enough, old enough to know, Genentech TPA, greatest single change in medicine at that era. And that era. We aspire to that sort of change. Big. Because now we're thinking, think about the microbiome, whether you're treating it with a pill. And last time I gave you the pill for, for SEER 109 right. for C. diff, right. that's the ulcerative colitis pill. This is it. That's it. And you take it once a day or once a week, depending on what the regimen is the best. You don't have immunosuppression. You don't have to put a, a needle in your arm. And you can calm down this inflammation in this. your gut. That. But in that is 1 times 10 to the 8th 
spores of bacteria. Proprietary to series. No and one else has this. No one else has this, and the dark arts, as we talk about, others will get it, just like with monoclonals, but right now, we own the proprietary library, the approach okay. to make this, and the expertise. We are excited about bringing this to well, the country and the world. Well, you should be excited. This is very exciting stuff. Now, again, small tech, biotech, obviously risky. Go do some reading. That's Dr. Roger Palmer, as president and CEO of Sirius Therapeutics. It's big news. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.